Hey everyone, Vito from More Beer here. We're brewing at the Concord showroom today. We're doing a kettle sour, but the cool thing is we're not doing a kettle sour. We're gonna use this new product from Cellar Science. It's called acid yeast. So it's very similar to Philly sour. So it'll create alcohol and lactic acid in a single pitch that is not lactobacillus. So you don't have to worry about contaminating the cold side, things like that. So let's talk about the advantages of using a yeast like this, especially if you're in a production environment, big brewery, you don't want to babysit a kettle for 48 hours. Same thing for a home brewer too. If you're brewing at home, you don't have to keep it at that 90 to 100 degree that, that lactobacillus likes. You don't have to purge it with CO2, uh, then turn on and boil it to try and kill all those contaminants. It's just one single pitch that's going in your fermenter, just like any other normal ale yeast. So one of the reasons that I'm interested in this and, and, and the Philly Sour is, is it's non-GMO. So there is genetically modified yeast out there that do the same thing, that'll, that'll produce lactic acid as well as alcohol, but this is a non-GMO strain. So if that's something you're interested in, check out Acid Yeast. So I'm gonna finish up the brew day, uh, knock out my wort, get it and pitch this into the fermenter, and then I'll follow up with a taste test, let you guys know what I thought about this. Here we are nine days later. We pitched about uh, 22 grams of the Cellar Science Acid Yeast. Uh, we hit our final gravity. We've got about a 5% beer, which is what we were shooting for, like a, a wheat beer that we're gonna add fruit to now. We also hit about 3.6 pH. So we, we produced the alcohol and the souring agent all in this beautiful Brew Tools fermenter. Fermented at about three PSI um, at about 68 degrees or so. Um, and let's taste it. Got like huge pineapple mango notes, you know, no fruit in here, but just the, the esters and the kind of the, that fruity character from the yeast. Mm, yeah, nice, you know, acid. Uh, you'd swear there's fruit in here without adding any fruit, but now we're gonna fruit it up and we'll do a final tasting video later on. Cheers. Find these at morebeer.com. Thanks for watching.